and welcome back to another episode of Art New Vogue with your host, Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. On today's episode, I am very excited to bring you a new piece inspired by Beauty and the Beast. And this was for a Bad Apple Artist Collective auction that we did a couple months ago, but I'm a little bit behind on my videos, but I still really wanted to share this one because it's such a nostalgic theme for me. And I recently got to go see the new Disney live action version of Beauty and the Beast in the theater. And all I can say is that I cried the entire time. I was like, what's wrong with me? It was just, it was really, really well done. And I think for anyone who really enjoyed the animated version like I did, I was sold 100%. And even um, if you've seen it as many times as I have, I even noticed that like certain shots were exactly the same. This might be my favorite Disney live action that they've done, you know, with all these reboots and stuff. But I just loved it. I thought Emma Watson was a perfect Belle. I thought the Beast was really convincing. I absolutely loved it. I went, saw it three times. I took my mom, I took my sister, and we all cried. It was just like the songs, I don't know, they get me. It's just, uh, it's fabulous. Anyways, so I, since I'm not going to be doing a licensed Disney piece, I have to tread a little lightly on this one because I don't really want it to be um, the Disney version, you know, not just for legal reasons, but I want to kind of reinvent it and think of it in a slightly different way. Um, the story is a very old one and it's existed long before Disney and I have a couple of themes in mind and I want to work those into my interpretation of Belle today. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you my creation process and then we'll see how this piece turns out. So my biggest inspiration for this piece comes from the theme of stained glass. And I love this theme in the Disney film and in the live action. It's just so beautiful and graphic and colorful. And I really wanted to make this a strong theme in my version of Belle. Um, the other inspiration that came to mind is, of course, the rose, which is very iconic and symbolic in the story. And I wanted to have sort of rose or roses in her hair. So that made me start thinking about the beautiful Spanish dancers with that stark black hair and a red rose. And I wanted to kind of incorporate that idea into my version of Belle as well. So once I had my inspirations um, all together, I was again on a time crunch so I threw together this very quick value sketch and this stage I did in Photoshop and it kind of combined my thumbnail and value study uh, and transfer drawing all in one step so I just kind of threw this together make sure the values are working make sure I like the composition and where I have my figure and then I printed this out and decided to just draw directly on top of it to create some details so once I had kind of the drawing um, more realized then I could use this to actually transfer it to my painting board So for whatever reason on this day, I decided I wanted to paint with my fingers. I don't know. Sometimes it's just fun to get like some paint on your hands. And it's not that often that I get to paint a really organic texture like stained glass. So I thought, hey, why not? If feels right, go with it. So once I finished my outer border of stained glass, I'm going to create the inner window and clean up all these smudgies that I got. So first I'm going to add um, a little matte medium to the tape to make sure I don't have any leaking. And then I'm going to mix this kind of very light um, gray color to paint in to create my background window.
Okay, you guys, well, my piece is almost finished now. And before I show you how she turned out, I just have a few quick announcements for you guys, nothing too heavy duty. First up, I'm excited to announce that I have finally joined Patreon, and I am so excited to already have the support of a bunch of you guys. I am offering some really great rewards for all your subscriptions and pledges. I have a coloring contest that I'm going to hold each month where you can color my line art, and I'll be giving away fantastic prizes to a winner each month. All you have to do is sign up at a $3 level and you'll get this line art. I'm also offering my patrons my now exclusive blooper reels and extra videos, along with real-time instructional demos. Finally, I'm also offering print subscriptions to all my die-hard collectors out there. You will get a print in the mail every time I release a new piece, and it'll be a discounted price from my store. To see all my exclusive rewards and subscription extras, please check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash leilanijoy. Each pledge will help me continue making my videos and putting all my love and passion and time into creating these free videos for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I hope to see you on Patreon. Um, the other thing, I wanna do a quick poll. I'm asking you guys because I'm going to be doing another Disney piece, a real one, a real Disney license piece. And I'd love to know what characters you would most like to see me do for Wonderground Gallery. I haven't decided yet and there's a lot of um, push and pull between the big wigs over there. So I may or may not get to do my first, second or even third choice. But since you guys are my fans and collectors, I'd really love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments or on my Instagram or Facebook or whatever, just shout Shout out your favorite Disney character. Okay, guys, well, that is it for me on this episode. If you love my version of La Belle, unfortunately, the original is already sold. Um, thank you so much to her new owner. But I am offering prints and limited edition canvas reproductions in my shop right here, so you can always grab those as well. All right, guys, well, I guess that's it for my spiel today. And I hope you're creating. I hope you're still enjoying my paint-alongs. I'm going to do a little trial run on Twitch very soon, Twitch TV. So if you're on Twitch, you can follow me at Miss Leilani Joy. And I hope to see some of you there and try maybe a live stream kind of paint along chat thing. We'll see how it goes. I know a lot of you guys have recommended that I try it. So I'm trying to get a little bit more with the times and see how that might work for us. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing your artwork with me and taking my class and uh, making it possible for me to paint and live my dream. So thank you so much and see you guys next time.